So with the advent of technology and the improvements in 3D printing and additive manufacturing, we're looking at using that technology to reduce our inventory, but also to provide quick turnaround times for products that affect the premium cabin and the rest of the cabin itself. For example, if a seat um, part is broken, it may lock out all three seats for up to 120 days, which obviously means that seat can't be sold. So this is one of the real big benefits. We can do quick turnaround times to make sure the airplane is fully operational. So yeah, your imagination really is the limiting factor. We're hoping to get the free uh, cocktail trays, which you mentioned, onto the plane probably in the next two to three weeks. We've already done our flammability trials and they've passed them successfully. Um, we're looking at the different paint systems and different materials available to us right now. The process of, of 3D printing is a layered process where, first of all, in one layer, uh, usually a laser beam is solidifying material and then another layer of material is put on top of it and another solidification takes place. And so layer by layer, solidification by solidification, a part is, is being built up. Uh, the advantages are in small runs, so when you only need one off or two off. With normal manufacturing, you usually need uh, purpose-built tooling or purpose-built machinery, and they are very expensive. In 3D printing, you just need a 3D printer that can basically print for you any shape you like. So from what we are reading in the, in the literature, there are a few manufacturers of aircraft and a few airlines that are engaging now in 3D printing. And I would say Air New Zealand is right at the forefront of actually practicing it. So 3D printing is one of the many technologies that enables us not to perhaps hold inventory anymore and go to an idea where you hold only in a digital format and print on demand as you require it. And if you imagine how much inventory we'd have to hold as an airline, it's pretty significant. And so if we could do that, that would be a significant saving which we can pass on into our business and again, cheaper tickets and more people traveling. It is, you don't have to have complicated machines, you don't need specialist molds, anyone can, can make it or do it and that changes the whole kind of economics.